Hello, hello everybody, it's your old pal Tuna here and welcome back to another video. I am an illustrator and comic maker from Vancouver, Canada and here in these videos I show you the behind the scenes of my life as a full-time artist. If you've been around, you may know it has been a while since I actually put a vlog on the channel. Truth be told, January, February, not the most exciting months of the year for someone in my position, but I'm super excited because today I am prepping for a trip tomorrow to Vancouver Island to Victoria to go to SukinoCon, which is an anime convention. It's going to be the first convention of 2024 for me, which is pretty exciting. And as a result, I have to go through all of my convention stuff. I have to sort through all of my merch, pack up my stuff and hope that I don't forget anything because it is not a hometown turf event. And what I have here is my tote bag restock. Now, I didn't really notice until a few weeks ago that I'm basically out of all of my tote bags, which is a good problem to have. So I wanted to get a restock and I also ordered this new design. This was originally a button design that I had made, a little like punch buttons. I have a button machine, previous videos, you can see those. And they were so popular at one of the last events that I did in 2023 that it felt like a really good sign that I could invest into slightly more expensive merchandise and give it a try. They look super cute. And I will get a few ready to bring with me to the island. It's Wednesday, February 21st. I'm leaving tomorrow. And then the event is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I believe. So I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> I will admit I'm very tired right now. I don't know if you can tell. I had my wisdom teeth taken out last Friday and I was recovering all weekend from that. And then I had some progress on my tattoo yesterday. So I think I'm pretty tired from that. And then this morning was really busy. So it's just about two o'clock now. I have a lot to complete before the end of the day. And I wanted to do it here on camera with you. So please excuse Excuse the fatigue, we're gonna get some shit done. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Son, no pie to boys. Okay, we're gonna get back to those tote bags in a minute because I gotta roll them all up because otherwise I'll be rifling through them the whole time at the con and it'll be really annoying. But I wanted to open up this second box, which is so exciting. Um, this is a pin restock slash new pin order that I actually placed uh, before the spring holiday in China. And if you have never experienced uh, buying anything from China Direct, they take a week plus long holiday um, in February or January for the New Year celebration. And everybody scrambles because they all want to get their stuff made and shipped out before that break. And I did, but for some reason, even though it was ready to go, it was not shipped before the break. And then when they finally came back, I was like, hey, can you ship my package now? Anyway, I didn't think that this was going to arrive in time for this event. And I am so happy that it did. And <laughs> I've been sitting on this box waiting to open it with you. So let's go ahead and finally bust open and uh, see the, the restock inside. Oh, baby. Amazing. So these are my cat enamel pins. Um, let me just sort restocks versus the new colors. So unsurprisingly, I'm sure, 
The black cats and the orange cats have been the most popular of the Itty Bitty Kitty enamel pins. So I am out of both of them entirely. I'm extremely glad that I will have them restocked for this event. And then I was also kind of low on tuxedo and calico. So because it just makes more sense from like a volume perspective, I went ahead and restocked those as well. And I got four new colorways. And eventually it'd be cool to do like as many colors as exist under the sun of tiny little cats, but I decided to expand two white cats, cow cats, gray tabbies, and flame point Siamese. And the reasons that I've chosen these particular patterns um, are mostly because I basically am reusing the silk screens that are used to place the patterns on the cats. So it means that I don't have to pay to have new silk screens made. So I already do a regular Siamese. So doing a flame point Siamese means I can use the same silk screen, but a different color to get a different effect. And same with the tabby cat. And as well, for cohesion, for the time being, I wanted to choose cat patterns that I could reuse enamel colors from that already exist in the set. So when you see them all on the board, which we'll be preparing later, I'm sure, all of the new designs will still be using the colors that have already been used in the previous. But let's get them sorted into my little to-go box of enamel pin cats.
Okay, I've been plucking away off camera. I'm also beginning my love is blind journey. Um, I wanna call it a hate watch, but only like to defend my honor because I just need something to be playing in the background to keep the thoughts at bay. I have been uh, ideating how I wanna set up my table. It's a six foot table. I'm traveling, as I mentioned, so I can't bring my primary tall yellow sticker sheet board that I usually use. So I'm using these little white guys that I bought for uh, using at my maker's retail locations, but they're perfect for travel because they come apart so easily. And I have two of them, and my plan is to use my black plastic cube storage system to build up a second layer so that they'll be like kind of staggered on top of each other. I'm not going to go to that full effort because I'm pretty sure that it will work, but it will reduce the amount of extra stuff that I have to bring with me just to know exactly how I want the table to be set up. And I feel like I've got a pretty good sense of things. It's like I'm shaking off the rust coming into the first event of the year. I'm super looking forward to it. So now I'm going to just make sure that I have all of the merchandise organized, pack it into my two suitcases. And then the last thing I have to do is print and cut some packaging for the enamel pins there. And as well, I decided that I did want to bring some fashion cats and they require a little bit of prep to make sure that they are ready for sale. So that's the last thing that I will do for the rest of the day. And I think it should be pretty smooth sailing. Hello friends, we made it to the uh, hotel. We're actually staying in a hotel because we are fancy like that. And um, it's been a long trek, I guess. The ferry takes a long time. We are finally settled with our million pieces of luggage. Um, and I haven't been to the gym in six months, so my arms are little noodles and I cannot push the luggage like I used to be able to. But for the rest of the evening, just kind of chilling out. So I'll go hang out in downtown Victoria, maybe get some clips, who's to say? But setup starts tomorrow. We gave ourselves plenty of time so we didn't have to rush. And it's good vibes. It's good vibes here in the hotel.
How's it going? Oh my god. Okay, well the struggle is over. Everything is set up. It's only like 12.30 now, and I don't think things open until 2.30. So I have a ton of time to kill. Um, I always have work to do, so I'll probably go back and start on that. But for now, I'm gonna go for a little walk, find myself some lunch, and I am super excited. I actually haven't done a anime thing, specifically anime, since Anime-thon last summer and I love the anime people, it is always a good time. I actually realized that I'm not sure if I told you about this con, so I am at Tsukino Con, which is my first con of the year. And the last time I did this show was back in 2016, maybe 2017, so not only was I an entirely different person selling entirely different goods, but it was an entirely different world. So I have no idea how this is going to go. A lot of people that I know from Vancouver are here at the show, so it's still familiar faces, is not too out of the box for what I'm used to. But the friend that I'm traveling with was joking that last time that she did it, whenever that was, she made 600 bucks. So let's go ahead and hope that we make a little more than 600 bucks this weekend. My goal, as usual, I'd really like to make $1,000 a day in sales. Now it is technically three days, but because tonight is only five hours, I'm thinking that 2,000 over the weekend will probably be kind of more of a realistic expectation. But at the same time, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I am tucked in my little nook, my little cranny. <laughs> this is basically as squeezed in as I was at Gawcraft. Maybe a little bit more space, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> I'm already pretty tired and I'm like waiting to turn on NPC mode tuna saving every drop of energy that I have to get through this evening. <laughs> and I'm so out of practice too. Like, I'm trying to remember what I say to people when they come up to my table and all of my one-liners that I have rehearsed, aka just said a million times over and over again about all my products. I think it's all gonna come back to me if I can manage it, manage to do some mental math and give people the correct amount of change. First market of the year, let's go. Hey, I found Chatamus, who is a legend, who is the one and the only, and you should probably go check out his stuff too. Thanks so much. <laughs> if you like Riz, excitement, high octane, high arc action, twin chords, pep your boy. This is the one. This looks tight. That was so cool. <laughs> your eyes move and that's awesome. So funny. End of day one. Uh, I am back in the hotel. I have changed into my comfy clothes. Ronald is in the shower and Harley is off running an errand. I have a bowl of microwave spaghetti that is terrible and I love it. And the first day went amazingly, way better than I was expecting. It wasn't super busy, but it was steady. Everyone was really friendly, of course. And if sales are any indication of how the weekend will go, I don't think I'm gonna be leaving disappointed. <laughs> but I think we're just gonna chill out here for the rest of the evening. It's still, it's only like nine o'clock, so it's still relatively early probably watch a movie, hang out, get a good night's sleep, and then we're back at 10.30 of all times tomorrow morning. Day two, let's go! <laughs> Hello. 
Oh my goodness, I look much scruffier than I thought that I did. I opted not to have a shower because I was too lazy this morning. But anyway, yes, it is day two. We are open as of 15 minutes ago, but it's still basically just vendors walking around. So I'm gonna have to resist the urge to wander away from my table. I don't know what to expect today. It is Saturday, so usually Saturdays are the most busy days of the con. Last night was, like I said, way better than I was expecting. So if today goes well, I will be a happy camper. We are sitting for 10 hours today on the floor. Uh, so I may need to find something to work on while I'm here, but I'll try and get some clips Maybe we'll see if there's some cool cosplayers or if anything else any shenanigans go down day two. Let's go All right, checking in. We are halfway through the day now. I believe that the cosplay contest is about to end or is close to ending. So it's been pretty quiet here for the last hour or so while that's been going on. But it's been like up and down, I would say. Oh my God. I bit the inside of my cheek so hard that I'm in so much pain. <laughs> not to mention it's the same side where my wisdom teeth are still healing. So this is not my like A game for a con. I'm also on like day three of really not having any alone time. And I think it's starting to wear on me just a little bit. Introvert problems. So hopefully I'll get a chance to kind of hide away from the world tonight sometime, we'll see. There is a hockey game about to happen. So I'm gonna put my phone down and watch hockey. So I will talk to you guys after the game is over. And we'll see how the second half of the day goes. 7.40, we are calling it quits. We are going home. It is time to rest and recover from day two of SukinoCon. One more day left tomorrow. Um, this is probably me signing off for today because I'm about to turn into a cocoon until tomorrow morning, but I will see you then. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Day three, Tuna checking in. I think it's just about noon now, so technically we've been here for almost two hours. I did do some shopping first part of the day. I'm talking to the camera, Ronald. God. Oh, uh, welcome. Hi. So, how's how's it common for you so far? Well, it's a slow start. It's usually like that normally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, it was better than I expected. I think I made more so far in this two hours than I did yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's good. That means people want your style. Don't flatter me. Oh my God. Did you make? Two dollars? Your two? I did. I made two whole dollars. It's not rent, so it's not my hat. It's yours. Mine. I know. I would say it's busier now than it was yesterday morning, which is very strange. So hopefully today will be good. I think I just passed my goal for the weekend. So anything from here on in is extra, extra gravy. I managed to get some very precious alone time at the end of the day yesterday, which made me feel so much better. And with a good night's sleep, um, I'm ready to go. We're packing down at four, so it shouldn't be too long of a day. And then I assume we'll go out for a celebration meal, except for the fact that... You gonna take a sticker book? Absolutely. Yeah. Would you like a little bag for it? Uh, okay. Sounds good. Well, you grab that, and then you can help yourself to one of the packaged ones that are just on the shelf there. Oh, enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I got Chinese food last night as takeaway, and it was so good, and I got so much, and so I had enough for lunch today, and I brought it with me. And I couldn't resist eating most of it already. And now I have a tummy ache, so yeah. But we'll do a celebration meal tonight when I'm hungry again. It will be amazing. Here's to the end of SukinoCon. This was my pandemic pet project. So I wanted to make toys before the world ended. I designed them, my friend 3D modeled them, and then I got them cast in a resin by a small company in France. And I do like the one of a kind paint jobs, but I offer them as kits so people can paint them themselves. Yeah, they're really fun. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Would you like a little bag for it? Um, no, uh, sure. Sure? Yeah. Sure. And then if you buy anything else, you can tuck it in there too. Exactly. There we go. I'll get you five back. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. 
Yeah, enjoy. Orange County, of course. Would you like them just in the bags, or would you like me to put them on a backing card for you? contrast to yesterday. It is the last hour now and I can't believe how quickly today went by. The pace was way better. Super glad that it wasn't dead like I was kind of worried it was going to be. Definitely great tempo through the day. Lots of sales. We'll talk about that later. But with one more hour left, I'm sure there will be some last minute shoppers and then I'm going to tear down as quickly as possible. Possibly get a ride back with my table friend over here. And then we'll be on to celebration dinner. And luckily we decided to not rush to the ferry tonight and we're gonna go tomorrow morning instead so we're staying in the hotel so we can take it easy grab a cab in the morning and wrap it up for the rest of the day everyone hello i am back at the hotel after the con my roomies are still finishing packing up they should be here pretty soon though hopefully i can finish talking to you before they come in and interrupt but i wanted to take a moment to reflect while i am feeling fresh the experience is right on my back <laughs> friday was the short day saturday was the very long day and then today was also pretty short and long story short Yesterday did not need to be 10 hours on the floor. It really didn't. We definitely could have done probably like six or eight would have been okay. The thing about Tsukinokan is I think I mentioned it hasn't happened since 2020. And word on the floor <laughs> is that the organizers are like still kind of picking things back up, finding their rhythm after the pandemic, all that jazz. And we did kind of feel that like a lot of the attendees that were there were saying, oh, I found out about this like three weeks ago or two weeks ago. And attendance was definitely 
down, at least according to other people, because I haven't been to this one in like a super long time. And I think that that coupled with the fact that there was like events that were taking everybody out of the artist alley just kind of made the show feel like it was stretched a little bit more thin than it really needed to be. <laughs> I was pretty concerned, like I said, that the Sunday today was going to be a total write-off. I was completely wrong. Today was at least as busy as Friday and it had a much better feel like I was saying. So I'm still like jazzed. It was really nice to be able to talk to the vendors today, do some trading. And I've been kind of reflecting like, will I want to come back to SukinoCon next year? Because I obviously have to travel. We've got the hotel expense. The tables are not cheap. They're $250 for the three days, which is like on the low end, but sales were good. And at the end of the day, <laughs> when you're doing this as a part of your business, the sales have to be like an important metric as to whether or not I'm attending these sorts of things. But I would like to go over with you the amount that I made this weekend because I'm sure you're curious. The final tally ended up around 27 or 2800, which was a lot more than I was expecting given that 2000 was my like, I really kind of hope that I make that much over the three days estimate. And I'm really grateful that today was so good. It was like somewhere in the $800 range. So that's what pushed me over to the two. 2000 and then into the 27, 2800 range, which for three days work is not so bad. And don't forget if this is your first time watching, of course, that is what is called my gross income. So out of that, I have to pay for all of my merchandise and all of my travel expenses, as well as the cost for the table and the food and whatever. So I'm not really sure what the final tally will be, but you know, can't complain. I had a really fun time. I got to see a lot of people who I don't get to see very often. And it's always fun to travel with, with roommates, kind of gives it more of like a party vibe. Like we're on holiday, we're taking a trip, we're all in it together. <laughs> and I know other vendors didn't do as well. I think I'm always lucky because people love cats. <laughs> and overall, this was the first con that my enamel pins, my itty bitty kitties were actually the most popular item that I had on my table. Usually I really only sell like a, a handful at an event, but this time I sold like 20 or 30 or something like that, which is so, so many. And I'm not sure if it's because I have the extra four new designs now, or if maybe like it was like in a different position on the table than it usually is. And speaking of which, my sticker sheets were like the lowest seller. I don't think that has ever happened before. And now I'm wondering like, are my white racks like deterring people or was it just kind of a coincidence not related to the display? But either way, I'm not gonna overthink it, honestly. It's not worth getting stressed out about. I'm just happy that it all worked out in the end. And I sold a bunch of tote bags too, which means my suitcases are much lighter on the way home. Hello everyone, it's Tuna from the future here, reminding you to mask up if you are so inclined. On the next morning from the last clip that you just saw, I woke up with a sore throat. I was like, okay, here we go. I absolutely contracted the con crud and luckily turned out to be nothing more than that. So I've just had a cold for the last week since I got back from my trip, which did mean that I had to cancel a whole bunch of plans and not end up going to Seattle for Emerald City Comic Con. But these things happen. Sometimes when the body says slow down, you just gotta listen. Just popping in to wrap things up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I Watching back the footage and editing it all together was really fun for me. And this trip and this vlog just feels a little extra special because of all like the additional kind of characters that show up. <laughs> I feel like most of my vlogs, it's just me and you guys, but this time there were, you know, Ronald was there, Harley was there. And then of course the little interactions I was able to capture with you cool guys as well. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I will be back next Sunday with more content for you. I also wanted to let you know if you are in the Vancouver area, my next three shows are going to be local to Vancouver. And then there's a possibility I won't have any local shows all summer. So please come find me there. Nori, are you interrupting me? I will be at Vancouver on March 8th. I will be at Kawaii Con in Vancouver on March 16th. And then I will be at Harumatsuri, which is on April 20th. Keep watching till the end because I ended up with a lot of really funny outtake content. But before we do that, I really wanna thank all of the people on Patreon in my snack pack who are supporting me. Some of these people are pledged at just a dollar, which gets you access to digital downloads, podcast newsletters, extra video content. In addition to a backlog of like 
six years of stuff that's still there. You can literally go back and watch sketchbook flip throughs that I did six years ago and compare them to the ones that I'm publishing now. If you have a little extra scratch to throw my way, you can sign up at one of two mailable reward tiers to get either a sticker sheet in the mail or a full fun package of goodies. <laughs> I really appreciate everyone's support over on Patreon. It's literally what enables me to make YouTube content for you here. So thank all of these people because without them, this, this wouldn't be happening. <laughs> but of course, I know we can't support every creator that we enjoy online. So I'm just very grateful that you are here with me watching this video. Once again, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment and keep watching because I have a lot of content on this channel now. It's pretty impressive. Stay sparkly, don't let the cruel world dull your shine, and I will see you next time. Love when you find silverfish in your box of new tote bags. <laughs> Good thing my apartment already has them. <laughs> Stop eating tape! Oh my god, you're gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Exactly, Hi, that's why. So I really want the blessed place. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very kind of. Life is an influencer. I'm slow and then busy, and like it's been slow for a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit for just a second. Hello. Hi. You? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like embedded. That It'll never leave my brain. It's been so long since I watched Shrek. Bye, Sukino Khan! <laughs>